so did you recognize all those sounds those voices i'm certain you did so i'm going to tell you a story this is about meera and her amma and it's called what did you see <laughs> so one day meera came back from school normally how do you come back from school totally full of stories want to tell amma everything that happened and how you wrote and how you read and what you did with your friends and what happened in free play or free time isn't it but today meera was all dull she came back so amma said what did you see at the zoo hmm. meera said nothing huh what didn't you see the monkey jump how does the monkey jump like this didn't you see the monkey jump huh no said meera what didn't you hear the lion roar no no said meera are you must have seen the elephant swing his trunk like this this way and that way like this did you see him with his large ears walking like that and swing his trunk did you see that meera and what did meera say hmm uh, no then uh, didn't you see the tall giraffe with the long neck eating leaves from the top of the tree like this nom 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 what did meera say long neck no what about a peacock dancing like this like that like this and like that so graceful the peacock dances isn't it meera said no so did you see the crocodile yawn and it gets stuck there isn't it so amma oz Didn't you see the crocodile yawn? <sighs> no, said Meera. Amma was totally surprised. She said, "Are you went to the zoo today and did not see any animals?" <sighs> We didn't go to the zoo today, Amma. What? It's only tomorrow. Tomorrow said Amma and flopped to the ground like a What flops to the ground? Like a bear. And Meera also flopped next to her. So, this is a story where Amma thought Meera had gone to the zoo and she was excited waiting for Meera to come and talk about the animals but Meera did not go to the zoo What do you think You think uh, Amma knew about it I think so Because when she saw Meera coming back all sad from school she knew it and to make meera happy she did all that clowning around and behaving like animals and doing things just to make meera laugh that's what all ammas do isn't it sometimes they wait for you to wake up and then they cuddle love with you and that cuddling is like what like the bear 
and when you don't want to go and brush your teeth and get ready for school or do something that may not be right what does she do she roars like a lion wow and then she feels bad and she plays with you like a little monkey and then she sings for you like a little cuckoo bird and then she comes and sleeps next to you like a crocodile and he she starts yawning and maybe at times there's a slight snow isn't it but amas are the best thing in the world for you for me for all of us because they do so much for us isn't it and the only thing that all of us can do for our amas i say amma we love you and that will bring a smile like sunshine on their face what do you say shall we do that today to all our amas right done happy mothers day <laughs>